Welcome back everybody to another video with Willie's Truck Life. Once again, I'm craving for some of my delicious stuffed pork chops that I will be cooking up today. Oh, I can't wait. And I will be having some vegetables with some carrots, potato. I'm not quite sure what kind of gravy I want. I might cook up a can of uh, mushroom soup and add it as I go. So before we start this video, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and who has been giving me those thumbs up and leaving those wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. YouTube says it has something to do with an analytic, so they push my video out there. Anyway, guys, let's start cooking. And once again, I'm down here in Middlecote Beach here, just five minutes from St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, so let's get cooking, guys. The woolly way of cooking. So the first thing that we need to do, guys, we have to cut these, uh, they're bone uh, pork chops. We need to cut them in the center. Hmm. So we gotta cut them down, which is not gonna be easy for me. <laughs> ah, let's see here. All right. So we need to cut them down the center. Like I said, not gonna be easy. I don't know if I can cut them with this knife. Uh, well, Well, let's see here. I can't cut them. <laughs> I can't cut them. I gotta get a different knife, I guess. I gotta get a knife, different knife. Let's try another knife, guys. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I'll I'll cut them uh, one way or another. All right, that's a nice knife. Let's try with this little knife here. Might work. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's see, let's see. We're getting her. There, we got her. That's one, that's one. Like I said, I'm not very good with a knife. But it works. Yeah. <laughs> I will side down low. She's cotton through, guys. Right? She's cotton. I guess I need ticker. I need ticker pork chops. Perfect. All right, I'm just gonna stuff two pork chops. Before I stuff them, I wanna add some garlic powder in the middle on both. This one's a nice pork chop. And onion powder. In the middle. Like so. Now, let's stuff them. So I'm just gonna stuff them in there. Of course, we got fly here. Oh, we got a wasp. Get away from me. Wasp. No, let's stuff the other one. Perfect. Just perfect. Nothing wrong with it, huh? Nothing wrong with that, guys. See, you don't have to be a professional to cook. Because if you're cooking for yourself, it is what it is. And it's going to taste good as long as it's cooked, right? So, now, so guys, here's what our stuffed pork chop looks like. So I cut it down the center. I didn't think I was doing a good job, but it turned out to be an excellent job. And here's the other stuffed pork chop. 
it's pretty good. So I season uh, inside, I put garlic powder and onion powder. And now the next step, I gotta seal it up. So here's a trick, guys, when you're sealing up pork chops. So guys, there's this old farmer that uh, showed me a way to seal up these uh, pork chops and it adds flavor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna seal them up with some crazy glue. So we want to, I'm just kidding guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use some duct tape. <laughs> uh, just kidding again. <laughs> no, but seriously, we're going to use some toothpicks to seal them up. <laughs> uh, so, we're just going to use some toothpicks to seal them. That's done. Now I'm just going to put them in the bag for now so the flies don't get at them and get that Dutch oven heated up. Our coals are heated. So now let's just put the Dutch oven on top of the coals because I want to be able to sear the uh, Pork chops. I'm going to add some olive oil to the bottom of the Dutch oven. So I'm going to add some salt to the pork chops. We're going to do both sides. Pepper. Oh. Now. I'm just going to throw them on the pan and sear them up for three or four minutes. I'm going to cut up these potatoes. One, two, three, four. And cut them this way. And this way. <laughs> and the carrot. There. So we'll turn it over to the other side. Oh, nice and brown. There. Now we'll cook it for another three more minutes. So I'm just going to chop up this onion really quick. I've, I've taken my pork chops out of the Dutch oven. So now what I want to do, I'm going to add the potatoes. Well, first, no, wait, getting ahead of myself. I'm going to add a little, probably a cup of uh, vegetable broth, guys. And I'm going to throw the potatoes in there. Ooh, hot. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And I'm going to lay it, my uh, pork chops right on top of the potatoes. Just like this, guys. So the pork chop is not touching the bottom of the Dutch oven, so it won't burn away on me. So now I'm just going to throw the onions in there. 
like so. And I'm going to throw my carrots in there. Hi, how are you? Oh, and that's it for now, guys. So I'm just going to cover my lid and put my coals on top of my Dutch oven so it will bake at 350 for about 35 minutes. I'll have to get more coals now, ready. All right, guys, my dinner is ready. I just checked it for temperature. It's good, 160, 165. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's have a look inside. And here we have it, guys. Look at that. Isn't that awesome, huh? So nice and juicy. I just, oh, look at the, oh my goodness, look at the stuffing, look at it. It looks really, oh my God, it's falling apart on me. All right, let's plate this up, guys. I'm gonna take it off the cold. There we go. Just like that, guys. I'm gonna leave it for five or 10 minutes and let it cool down. Then I'm gonna put it on my plate. And it's dinner time. Ring the bells. <laughs> Okay, it's time to serve up my dinner. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, that looks so good. Oh, stuffed pork chops. Oh, look at that. I'm putting two of them on my plate. I'm going to eat two of these today. <laughs> I'm going to eat two of them. Some veg, some potato. Uh, let me take them uh, two picks out of there now. My dinner is on the plate. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. <laughs> look at the stuffing. Now, I gotta try some of this. Now, let's cut into this pork chop. The stuffing pork chop. Oh, look how nice and tender that is. Oh my, look. Oh my goodness. Look how tender that is, guys, with that stuffing. I gotta try some of this now. Ooh. Oh, oh my. Mmm. So good. Really, really good. Gotta try these potatoes. They're nice and soft. Oh, hot. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is awesome. Awesome. I got I to gotta cut another piece of the pork chop with the stuffing. It looks really good. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Mmm. So good. Well, I gotta go to my truck and sit down and eat this. Oh! But anyway, I gotta rate this. A 10 out of 10! <laughs> it's worth it. It was worth stuffing my pork chops. Adds the flavor to it, guys. A little bit of garlic inside, a little bit of onion powder, right? Really good. So anyway, I'll talk to you in What's a bit. What's going on here, guys? Enjoying the day. Milko Beach, Milko Beach. Milko Beach, 
Uh, I've been wa I walked by and I seen a couple of my buddies here. So what's your name again? You're Ken, right? Ken, Ken is Ken. correct. You are correct. You are correct. Alex. Alex. Rachel. Rachel. Joe. Joe. And what are you cooking up today, guys? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Is that a chicken one you're cooking? Yeah. Man, chicken we have one. some veggies that I'm burning. Chicken, what? beef, all the uh, veggie, and dogs. veggie dogs. Yeah. So, we, all types of dogs. Oh my all gosh, four she's types. from the mainland. We got regular ones. So, where are you from? Oshawa. Oshawa. Yes. So, how are you uh, enjoying your holidays? Uh, this is my fourth time here and I love it. Fourth time here, and guys. Less than a year. And less than a year. Less than a year, yeah. You must be rich, are you? <laughs> I came here for $230. Oh, Everybody should come sweet. to the East Coast. That's pretty sweet. Well, I just cooked up some pork chops and stuffed pork chops, but there are no leftovers. I only had enough for myself. No leftovers, no leftovers. Thank God we got the hot dogs. Sure, we only befriended you for that. For the pork chops. She has the best chicken joke. And go. Willie's Truck Life, and uh, first time we met uh, Willie, and uh, we're having a fantastic evening on Middle Cove Beach, uh, family and friends. And uh, and Joanne, apparently, according to her husband, uh, Alec, is going to do the chicken joke. And go ahead, Joanne. I'm not doing it. Come on, chicken joke. <laughs> so we got no chicken joke from Joanne, so the joke is on Joanne, I guess. Yes? Uh, Rachel, you got something to say there? Yes? Uh, Rachel's down from Ontario, and she's having a fantastic time. This is her second night. Second night. Uh, her second day. Yeah, you only came in. Best yeah. joke in the world. You doing a chicken joke or not? No. Okay. No chicken joke from Joanne, sorry. Good to go? Well, I got a chicken joke. I got a chicken joke. We have a chicken joke. Finally, <laughs> finally, we have nobody, a chicken joke. If nobody wants to tell a chicken joke, I'll tell you a chicken joke, guys. So there's a chicken, eh? He crossed the road and went to the library. So he gets into the library and he goes, brr, brr, brr. And the librarian goes, shh, 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 shh. And the chicken goes, Buck, 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 hold on, but that's not it, that's not, that, 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 that's not it though, that's not it, see? So the librarian gives him a book, and he brings it home to his, uh, his friend, the, the frog, and the frog goes, read it, read it, oh, read it. Really, really good. That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, guys, I gotta get out of here. Thank, thanks for. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. So Will, Willie's truck life. Willie's truck life. You will, have, you will have numerous followers in about two hours. Excellent. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. Bye. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a million, that's a million, that's a million uh, uh, views. Take your shirt off. So guys, I'm going to end my video here. I had a really, really good dinner. Yep, it was a 10 out of 10 for sure. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for the subscribing. And I want to thank you all for leaving me a thumbs up and a comment. So I'll see you on the next video. Life is good. Bye, everybody.